Hello, welcome to the Drexel University Library's PubMed tutorial. We're currently viewing PubMed now, but for the Drexel community, please be sure to access PubMed via the Drexel University Library's website. Today we'll be doing a basic search. The basic search box is located towards the very top of the page here, and our example topic today will be the use of constraint-induced therapy related to improving limb function in adult stroke patients. Now that's certainly very wordy, so we're going to really want to boil that down. So I'm going to enter two major search terms. It's going to be constraint-induced therapy and stroke. We'll deal with the age of the patient towards the end of this search. However, at this point, I want to be sure that PubMed understands that we have two different topics here, and that we're interested in both of them. So I'm going to use an AND here. The AND command allows for PubMed to look for articles that mention both of these terms in the same article. It is important to put AND in caps, that way it's understood as a command, plus from a user's point of view, it's easier to see your commands versus your search terms. That can come into play when your searches get a bit more complex. Well, this looks great for today. Let's just click on the search button and we'll get our first result. So not bad at all. We have 430 items as a result. Let's start by whittling this down a little bit using some filters sometimes called limits. On the left hand side of the page is where you'll see these filters. Publication date of course can be important. We're looking for very recent items in this case. Let's look for uh, the recent five years. I'll click on that. That will add the limit. You'll see a check mark here to show you that it has been activated and also you'll most likely see a reduction in the amount of results. I also want to include for the English language. It's an international database, so this can be helpful for many. And I'm also going to include for ages. So in our case, we'll use adult, 19 plus years. Now we have 70 results. Uh, I just want to point out that you might not see all of these limits initially. You can always click on the Show Additional Filters link. This will show you other items that you can add. And in some cases, like the age groups, these are customizable. If you do click on this, this will allow you to display other age groups that aren't immediately visible. I'll X out of this customized display now. I'm going to scroll back to the very top of the screen and while I'm noting customization, I also want to show you the display settings. I recommend altering these display settings. If you do click on this link, you'll see the option to select for abstract mode. And we can also change the number of items per page. This is personal preference. Uh, I'm going to use uh, 50. And the sort is typically done by recently added items. I would suggest using publication date or pub date. When we apply this, the page will change. We'll now get the abstracts or the summaries for the items directly on screen. And you'll also see Drexel full text get it buttons appear under the items. Uh, if we're looking through these, you might want to note which items you want to come back and examine a bit more fully. To do that, we can place a check mark next to these items. I'll do that here, and I'll just select a few other items as an example. And after you've selected the various items that you'll require, you can scroll back to the top of the screen, 
and you have the send to feature here. I'll click on this now and I'm going to move these items over to a clipboard. We can add to clipboard and once those items have been moved you'll notice a clipboard icon here and you can just click on that link this will show us the items that we have selected. Please note, if you do go to the clipboard, your display settings will revert. We can always change them back to abstract mode easily. To see if we have access to the items, this is where you'll want to click on the Get It buttons. I'll click this one now. Here we are. In this case, we see that content is available via the following links. This item is licensed in a few different resources. You might have a preference for a particular resource. I'm going to use ProQuest, so I'll just click the article level link. It will open a new tab and will bring me to the item itself. Usually you will need to click on a PDF link following that. I'll close this tab now. If the item was not available, you can always use interlibrary loan here as well. By clicking on this link, that will open the interlibrary loan form. You'll need to sign in with your Drexel information. And if it's your first time, you'll have to fill out a short form for the system to recognize you. The next time you duplicate this procedure, it will bring you to a step where it will take the information about the journal article, fill out a request form, and then you'll be able to submit that request via interlibrary loan. This concludes the basic PubMed tutorial. Thank you.